I mean, what it comes down to, at the end of the day, we were hunter-gatherers for 10,000 years. We've had indoor plumbing for 100 years. Human beings are designed for three things. Eating, fucking, and killing. Everything else is just bullshit. And people complain that there's, oh, they're moving out the poor populations in these neighborhoods. They're, people are complaining about lower crime rates. People are complaining about high property values. People are complaining about small businesses having a place to go in, to make money in the community. And then, oh, these poor, poor people. Look at this. Who has to clean this up? They put up these condos where there used to be real architecture, beautiful buildings that people made lives in. Instead, they have these garish, disgusting, plastic condos, prisons for rich people. Oh, but there's a coffee shop in the bottom. Oh, there's an antique cheese store. Oh, bullshit. Everyone's a victim. Being a victim is rewarded. It's like the fight or flight response. Anytime there's a threat, you get a boost of adrenaline, you get that extra focus. Because when there's a bear after you, and you're in the woods and you're a caveman, you can't be thinking about anything else other than where you're gonna go, what you're gonna do. We're running 21st century software on 10,000 year old hardware. Look it up there. It's disgusting. It's a big box. It's like living in Legoland. Like, who the fuck lives there? How much money do they make? It's a prison. The prison built by the inmates and the inmates of the prison guards. Now, you overemphasize the aesthetic. That's one thing. You overemphasize the functional as something else entirely. I mean, it's like the classic architects, Gaudi. They have these beautiful architectural forms that just seem to flow out of the earth, making real statements. Because without a statement in a building, they... hey, how you doing? Hi. Um, well, we're a television crew. My name's Ben. We've just been walking around the neighborhood, interviewing neighbors, asking about the community. It's a, it's, a, it's a documentary that we're doing. Do you just have a few moments? Well, I'm right in the middle of Touched by an Angel. I promise we'll be brief. Okay, come in. You can sit over there. This is my crew. What was your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Have you ever been in front of a camera before, Elizabeth? Oh, yeah. There was an accident in the 110 at San Pedro, and the news camera, All people right, great. were asking all... All right, great. She's comfortable with the camera. I think we are uh, ready to go. <clears throat> First question, Elizabeth. In your neighborhood, is there a community of people that, well, let's say, God forbid, something were to happen to you, would one of your neighbors pick up the phone, call the police? Oh, I have a lot of acquaintances in the neighborhood and people in the building. Um, and the children come after school once in a while. They call me Granny and I make cookies for them. And you rub a gun in your bed, Granny? You want a bullet <laughs> taste like? Now, see, this is a special case. As soon as I walked in the door, I saw a bottle of. Set a car on the table. And set a car is used by heart patients. It makes it easier on me, it makes it easier on her, it makes it easier on the neighbors, and I save a bullet. Whenever possible, I try to introduce novelty into my routine, it keeps things fresh. She's 
Speaking first, <sighs> dead to business. Hey guys, hungry? No. Uh -huh. Not hungry? Want a beer? No. Alright. So, what's it looking like, boys? What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> tablecloth. Flip the tablecloth. Bingo. Come on. That's for you? Come on, take it. Your students, you need to eat. Put the money in your hand, spend it on whatever it is. Whatever you need, and we'll provide. I'm starving. You know what? German food. Big plate of meat, sausage, bratwurst. I know a great place. It's right around the corner. We can walk there. I think Kelly has plans tonight. You have plans? It's my treat. It's five minutes away. Chris? Yeah, you know, if it was another night, you know, we could maybe go tomorrow or day after. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, another night. Yeah. Another night. We'll have plenty of time. Yeah, you know, I have somewhere to be, actually. So, uh... Do you want us to give you a lift? No. You know, walking is good for the appetite. We'll give you a lift. Fine. Here's to the sun, here's to the soil, here's to the farmer, here's to his toil. Let's eat some meat, guys.